Crew Show. Hey, Power hey, 106. Hey, hey, yeah, man. Listen, so good to have this uh, this this guest in here. Kirby Bliss Blanton is on the show right now. There she is. Good What's morning. up, Kirby? Turn up, turn up, turn up, turn up. Turn up. Good morning. How are you? Really good. How are you? How's everything going? Everything good? Yeah, everything is good. Everything's yeah. really good. I'm excited to be here. This so listen, uh, uh, Kirby was in Project X. We all saw yes. Project X. That was the turn up movie Great of the century, movie. right? Right now, right? Awesome. Oh. Yeah, we're talking about this off the air too. You're still getting Project X checks, right? Yeah, yeah. Hell that yeah. Be good for you. It That's is right. every now and then, yeah, because it yeah. still airs on like HBO and MTV. And stuff. That's right. That's right. So yeah. I play like the mailbox lottery. I go down. I'm like, come on, big money, big <laughs> mailbox money. lottery, right? Yeah. Yeah. Get that check. Get that check. <laughs> and you're in a new movie called uh, uh, The um, Green Inferno, which is out this Friday. It's a very gruesome movie. Oh we've, my gosh. we've been watching the Red Band trailer all morning long. Yeah. Intense, yeah. man. It I hope you crazy. didn't lose your breakfast. Well, Kirby, tell everybody what the movie is about. Okay, well, basically it's about these um, college students who decide to kind of be activists in a right, way. Right, right. Um, and you know, decide to really actually go to this village in this jungle to save a tribe. Sure. Um, what they don't realize is once they get there, the tribe is A, not very welcoming, and B, they're cannibals. Wow. Yeah. Whoa. What's yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. kind of get stuck there and have to... Try to get away. Yeah. This is why you don't help people. It, don't help anybody. Yeah, that's, that's what the trailer says. It says no good it. deed goes unpunished. Yes. Right, yes. right, right, because right. Because it's a play on the fact about... Um, well, Eli talks about it best when he's like talking about how. Um, yeah, it's an Eli Roth film, by the way. Absolutely, yep, he's known for that. Absolutely, he's yes. a man. He's the man. Um, but he talks about how there was a time when, like, especially during like that Co- Coney thing, uh, people just thought that they could be. Oh activists. yeah, stop Coney twenty twelve. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. They by just tweeting about it, and then they right. were like right. getting very like. Um, they'll talk down to you if you weren't retweeting. And sure. it's like, it's the, it, social media became this like public, mm-hmm. like politics, very. So this is about, you know, these kids that they're like, oh, well, I'll just go to, uh, sure, I could. We're going to go do yeah, something about I'll it. Fix it. Yeah. Right. Um, you know, and it's a little more complicated than that. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I mean, it's such a crazy ride. Like, honestly, it's a, it's a horror film, obviously, so it yes. gets really gross and horrific. Ugh. But before that... What's the rating on it? Is it rated R? I think it's so. It's gotta be, right? Yeah, it should be. It has, it has, it has to be. From watching the trailer, has to the trailer's be. gotta yeah, yeah, be rated yeah. R. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's definitely rated R, I think. Um... Yeah, we had to cut some things out, I'm sure, for it oh to be gosh. rated R. No way. Oh, for sure. Like, why? Like, what got put, cut out? Oh, I, I have no idea. I have no idea, mm-hmm. like, what the specific things, but I know for sure at some point we had to, like, add really bad stuff just so that we could cut that out so to leave in what we actually wanted to keep and stuff for the ratings. And yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah, yeah. And then and the, the movie has a lot of blood in it. There's a lot of screams. A lot of, blood. A lot of body it's parts gory. being ripped out of people's too. bodies. That's it's beautiful, so too. Yes, because you, we literally <laughs> went to this amazing Amazon on like the jungle we went there yeah. so the first half of the film you're just like in awe of the beauty of the scenery and of like the vast amount of green and like I mean, we don't see that in California all these right, beautiful right. trees everywhere well, in this river you know and uh, I mean so and it's it really goes beautiful bad. and then basically yeah I, I feel like once yeah uh, the plane crash that you see in the trailer yeah. it, like kind of is like the turning point I think for the film and like at, at that point we're kind of stranded yeah. and you know um, yeah that's when we kind of find our uh, new family new if you will or family or friends us. right yeah, right exactly oh my gosh. Our, new, our new friends well they they see you guys and they and 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 they think hey dinner's here yeah, yeah. Exactly. we're hungry they, they, perfect timing yeah exactly they they were excited to have visitors <laughs> oh That's my gosh. why don't they eat each other why are they gotta eat new people uh, I think it's like a hierarchy thing. Right, you know? right, right. It's like they all need each other. They yeah. all have a certain job in the, you know, and it's like, no, we can't you. lose him. He's the guy that comes and gets the coconuts off the tree. You <laughs> know, he's <laughs> right, super important. Right. Green Inferno is in theaters this Friday. Uh, watch the movie. It, it's, uh, well, first of all, if you want to watch the trailer, watch the trailer now on YouTube. It's, it's crazy. So crazy. But this reminds me of one of those movies that people might get up and walk out of just because it's that, that gross and that intense, right? Well, literally, we had. Those are the kind of movies I want to see. Really? Yeah, okay, good. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Thank <laughs> you, it. Cruz. Okay, because literally we had a screening last week yeah. um, at the Arclight where I think like um, some of like the people that were there were actually winners of a contest and got to come and meet Eli and stuff. So it was like oh, part of the fan tour and part of the press tour. Um, and yeah, it was the first time I had seen the movie um, in a little bit because it's um, been a year or so since we tried to do the press and everything sure. last time. Um, 
a lot of people got up and left. Uh, some people uh-huh. got up and left. That's yeah. a good sign. Yeah, that I mean, that's, that's a really like good sign. Eli it. says the same thing for me. I'm like, you guys wait. Right, right. right. You missed, right. Wait, it's, there's there's a part that I did and it's funny. And, uh, <laughs> it just, right, somebody's tongue out. is about to get ripped out. And then Hold they on. leave. Yeah, they leave, and I'm just like, all right. Well, they'll never know. They'll never know, right? Uh, never know. What movies are coming out? Are you aware of the competition on Friday? Um, yeah, we have we have. Hotel Transylvania too. Okay. okay. So the kids are gonna go see that. You'll be which fine is fine there. Yeah. They can't see, you don't want the kids to go see our movie. No. Anyway. No way. No. It'd be really mm-hmm. disturbing for them. If it, uh, we also have the intern. Don't worry yeah. about it. I'm not too. <laughs> Not so, sure if people want to see Robert De Niro as an intern, so it might be okay. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he should be the boss. <laughs> right, 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 right. You'll be um, fine. So, yeah, I mean, I think it'll be a great date movie if people want to, you know. Well, is it a date movie, Crystal? I don't know. I would be scared, but that's If what... humans are being consumed, if they're being ate and there's blood everywhere, I mean, this not, might be a date movie. It's not, like, sexy well, at either all. way, it's good for the guy because the girl's getting exactly. scared. Exactly. Yeah. It's good for yeah, the guy because she's getting scared. It's a great guy movie, right? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. It's, I, I mean, it's part of it's it's hard to watch. I have to say, it's really hard to watch sometimes. So, uh, but, that's and I, but I know, though. I know what. So, I actually in the screening, people are getting grossed out, yeah, like yeah. screaming, and I love when they get all hyped and you can hear their reactions. I love being a part of that. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm just staring like right at the blood. I'm just like so, immune. Yeah, I'm that's just how like, I am. Yeah, that's how I am. I don't care. I, I watch that trailer that everybody's freaking out about. I'm the like, red band one on YouTube. Yeah, I'm right. You're right. I, I want great. the person. I'm like that looks great. That looks fucking great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want the person <laughs> that that I'm sitting next to. I want them to vomit next to me. Yeah. I, I want. I want the movie to be As long as it doesn't good. touch me. Right. Exactly. Sure, yeah. Exactly. Ew. Yep. <laughs> yeah. But it's the true. Worst. I mean, it's like we want a reaction, and we're gonna get it. I yes, mean, you this are. is Eli's yes, you are. first, you know, directorial in a long time. So, um, yeah. I mean, he's got a big reputation, and he's got, you know. He's got to prove himself to be still doing what he's doing. Absolutely, yeah, this man. This is my favorite Eli Roth film. Is it really? And I love Eli. So, but this is this is you know it goes to new places. We we went there this time. Love that Kirby Bliss Blatton is on the show, cruise show, yeah. Power One Hundred Six. The movie uh, Green Inferno is out this weekend. It's on Friday. It's Friday or Thursday night. I mean, you know, technically midnight, midnight showing. Thursday. Midnight, Thursday. midnight yep. showing. Make sure you watch that more with Kirby next cruise show, Power One Hundred Six. Yeah. Special thanks to Robert Wayne Footwear and Doc Martin.